Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to talk about five indie brands that I am hoping to try sometime this year. I know a lot of people are doing videos like the, you know, 10 brands I want to try in 2020, 20 brands I want to, actually I don't know if anybody's done like 20, 20 brands I want to try in 2020, but I know like people have done, and I even did in the past, like nine brands I want to try in 2019 kind of a thing. Um, and so I kind of want to do something similar, but I don't have like, when I was trying to think about it, like I don't have like this huge variety of brands that I want to try. Um, I've tried so many brands, but as I was thinking about it, I knew there were a few indie brands that I really would like to try and would love to, to support. Now, if you guys have been with me from the beginning, you know that I definitely have a soft spot um, for small business brands. I talked a lot about small business brands on my blog before I started my YouTube channel, and then when I first started my YouTube channel, I did feature a lot of small business brands, and I even had like this small biz Saturday thing that I did on my blog and things like that. Um, but as I was trying to grow my channel, it was recommended to me that I feature more mainstream brands and stuff and I was starting to get PR and so it was recommended that I feature more of that and then as I grew I can kind of go back into sh you know sharing the love for small business brands and I feel like I totally just got away from small business brands in general once I started doing that which is not what I wanted to do but it's kind of just how it went um so anyways i've slowly started getting back into trying more and more um small business indie brands and i've just been so pleasantly not surprised but just thrilled happy just excited to be trying them um and i have had my eye on a few others that i would really love to try i think they look amazing and um, so yeah, I wanna show them some love and hopefully sometime this year, I will be able to purchase um, some of these products and feature them on my channel. Um, now, before I do get into uh, the brands I want to try, if you are curious about what is on my face today, um, uh, all my, most of my face <laughs> is from an indie brand as well. It is an indie brand that I've talked about plenty of times on my channel. It's a brand I love and that is from NBA Cosmetics. So um, I still stay true to like uh, featuring NBA because it is a brand that I work for and that I love and, and that will always be special to me. So anyways, if you like this look, I will link it. Definitely please go check it out. I'm really excited about these products. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, the first brand I wanna talk about is Dandelions. They are Dandelions Co. on Instagram. I'm going to be linking each of these brands in the description box, um, so I definitely encourage you guys to check out their Instagrams, check out their websites and things like that. I'm also gonna be throwing up some photos on the screen here so you guys can see what I'm seeing and everything like that. But I first heard about this because uh, one of my viewers here uh, mentioned them in a comment and um, recommended them and so I instantly went and found them and it was a very 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 small they've since grown quite a bit um, um, but they really were I look like they were just a brand new starting out brand um, and I always think that's really cool to discover uh, an indie brand like when it's when it's first starting out you know what I mean I think that's so exciting to be able to see a brand grow um, from the ground up and I've been kind of keeping my eye on on this brand. At first, there wasn't really much because it was so new-ish. Um, there wasn't really much that caught my eye, but I followed the brand and um, I've just been kind of keeping my eye on it. And more and more, I've been wanting to try try this brand. One of the items that they came out with for the holidays was something that super caught my attention and I was really, really tempted to buy, um, but ended up not because of when it was going to be released. It was going to be so close to when I was going to be leaving for my surgery and things like that, that I felt like by the time I got it, um, I wouldn't really have time to play with it. And I feel like like the newness of it would have worn off and it just, it just seemed like bad timing. So I didn't end up purchasing it, but they came out with this um, snow season uh, palette, which I just thought was really, really beautiful. I loved the colors in there. Um, a lot of the colors seem very, very similar, but it's colors that I like. There was a lot of greens in here, um, a lot of warm tones, which I love. There is a lot of browns and stuff like that, so much more of a neutral, kind of safe palette, but a really, really beautiful palette, and so it would have been a really great one um, to purchase to try out this brand. I just, I was really, really following along um, 
the owner was kind of releasing sneak peeks as they were going and as they were creating and things like that and I just loved them I thought it was really cute really pretty um, would have loved to to pick that up but I'm hoping to see more come out and uh, you know other palettes I know they have a lot of singles and things like that but I think they do little bundles here and there and little palettes here and there so I'm kind of really curious to keep following this brand um, and see what they release and hopefully eventually uh, pick up something to try um, but a little bit about this brand real quick it says they are vegan they're cruelty free paraben free talc free handmade which you can see they share a lot of like their handmade stuff and um, and everything um, and it's mineral makeup they sell on Etsy they are out of uh, Tarpon Springs Florida so anyways very interesting brand very cute brand I'd love to, to check it out and support it and I'd love for you guys to definitely check them out too it seems very very cute um, if you guys have tried any of these brands let me know your experience experiences let me know your thoughts I'd love to know what you guys are most interested in seeing me try out and review um, that's obviously going to put a little bit more um, weight to which brands I do pick up first and try out first and things like that so be sure to to share your thoughts with me all right the next brand is a little bit more of a, I feel like a more popular among the indie brand. I feel like it's a little bit more well known and I'm just really super late to the train on this one. Um, I feel like they, I could be wrong, but I feel like they really started gaining traction around the time that Tarte released their April Fool's Icy Betch palette that was not real and everybody was devastated by and then Sydney Grace kind of jumped in and created this like beautiful blue bundle and then this green bundle and things like that and they I feel like they really gained traction around at that point again like I said I could be totally wrong but at least that's when I first heard about them but I didn't really super jump on the train to try them out at the time I'm not quite sure why but anyways they have been something that's been on my radar for a little bit um I think they're a very interesting brand um they just recently um came out with I think two um, palettes that look super beautiful. Um, the color shades in the palettes are not like super intriguing to me but I do think like the palettes themselves are very very beautiful and seem like um, something a little bit more than what you would typically find from an indie brand. It seems a little bit more high-end and so and I, I think they're really pretty and so it's a very intriguing brand. I've heard nothing but good things about this brand um, and so I, I definitely feel like at some point I would love to try them. Um, something that's I think the most intriguing to me is like the bundles they have. I kind of think it's really cool how they do the bundles that I already mentioned. Like I said they came out with like this blue one um, which is called no, the No Joke Bundle. I'm pretty sure that was their little rose to tart there and then um which that one's not super intriguing to me because i'm not into blues you guys know that but um danny's dream bundle which is a bunch of green shades that looks stunning their autumn r autumn's rain bundle looks really really pretty um so anyways i'm i'm just curious just because i've seen so many you know good reviews on this brand and so many people recommend them and it just looks like they're kind of going up and up and up a notch like they're only getting better as time goes on so I'm just very very curious about this brand um so I'm sure plenty of you guys have tried it so you guys could let me know what you guys think if you're interested in seeing me try them but a little bit about this brand in case you are curious um they are cruelty free paraben free it says made in the USA so that's that on that all right so the next brand I want to talk about I feel like is I even bigger of a brand but for some reason I feel like Sydney Grace is seems like more like I feel like I hear more about Sydney Grace um but at least comparison wise to um like Instagram uh this brand definitely has a, a quite a bit of a bigger following but anyways the brand is Cleona Cosmetics um and this I just think is such a very unique brand um I love their like packaging like their 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 design of their products they have a lot of unique products as far as like their like stained glass multi-chrome kind of products which is what i feel like they're the most well known for but they do have like several shadow colors i was really interested and i think i even talked about this in a previous makeup i want but probably won't buy video they had this woodlands um eyeshadow bundle that i thought was really really pretty the color super spoke to me i don't know it just seems like a really really neat brand i keep hearing more people talk about them and um i've been following them for a while i think they actually followed me first 
for some reason they found me and followed me and it, that intrigued me so I, I checked them out and followed them back um but anyway so I've had my eye on this brand but just haven't purchased I don't know why I think the main reasons they're Canadian brands I'm really I haven't really looked into it but I was I always feel like shipping seems like it's going to be a big deal if it's from another country so I don't, know, I don't know like kind of just haven't bit the bullet to purchase them um more recently they came out with this um koala trio that I think is so stinking cute um the colors a little are definitely like more cool tone which cool tone eyeshadows are not necessarily my jam but these ones just look so so pretty um especially the shade gum tree and eucalyptus and then they have it where you, they mix them together and it just looks super pretty and then this shade called koala which looks like uh kind of like a rich gray color which i've talked about before i'm not super into grays or silvers i feel like those are among the most boring colors there is but something about this shade just looks so beautiful it's making me like i feel like I, I want to wear this. I want to put these shades on my eyes. It's just so pretty. Like just their products when I look at them just make me want to have them. You know what I mean? But yet I haven't bit the bullet to purchase anything. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, I'm definitely have my eye on this brand. Definitely hope to try them um, sometime this year. Um, I'm sure several of you guys have tried them as well. I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you recommend? There's quite a bit of things from this brand that I I would actually love to, to try out and purchase. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, I'm, I'm very interested. Um, a little bit about this brand, just based again on their uh, uh, profile, it says they are a Toronto brand. I did I say that already? I said Canada, right? Um, anyway, so Toronto brand. They're cruelty free and vegan. Largest multi chrome selection. So yeah, I was right. I didn't even read that, but yeah, that's what I feel like they're most known for is their multi chromes. Um, home of the one offs. I'm not sure what that means. Um, global shipping. Uh, so yeah. That's a little bit about Cleona. That's, I definitely want to try them. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am such a dork, but I, for some reason, managed to skip over one of the brands. I'm putting the screenshot here so you could see my little saved uh, folder where I had the brands that I knew I wanted to mention, and I literally only had the five brands there, um, so I wouldn't get confused, but yeah, I still managed to skip over this one. So the brand is Midas Cosmetics, and I honestly think the reason why I skipped over it is because in my mind, I think I looked at the photo and thought, oh, I already talked about this, because just a couple days prior, I had filmed my uh, makeup I want but probably won't buy video and talked about this, um, so I think in my mind, I thought, oh, I already talked about it and skipped right on over to the last brand I'm going to be mentioning, which you could kind of get a sneak peek there of what it is. Um, but anyways, the brand is Midas Cosmetics, and um, they haven't been on my radar for too long. I have noticed them here and there. Um, what really first caught my attention was their adorable little uh, coffee collection. They're just these little um, quad palettes that I thought were really, really cute. Um, mainly that green one, which I think is like uh, the green tea macchiato palette, um, but they're really, really cute. But what really got them on my radar uh, more recently is, as you can see, uh, their collab with Smoky Glow, um, which looks so, so cute, and I'm very, very intrigued to buy. And if you watch my video, um, Makeup I Want But Probably Won't Buy video, I mentioned there that I am very intrigued to see what this is. As of right now, uh, I don't uh, no, I mean, we know that I think there's an eyeshadow palette, there's a lip gloss bundle, and the third thing's kind of a mystery, which I think we all kind of feel like it'll probably be some kind of highlighter um, palette or something like that. But anyways, I'm really curious to see what it is and what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I do really like Hannah and her channel, and I think it'd be cool to support her and show her some love. Um, uh, but I really want to see what the palette colors look like and things like that first. I'm kind of more intrigued by the gloss bundle because I'm such a gloss girl. But anyways, so I'm kind of intrigued to see what they release. Um, I'm intrigued to try this brand, if not now, sometime down the road but what is interesting about this brand is it's a Latina owned brand which I think is really really cool um, so uh, just looking at their uh, Instagram page it says they're affordable high quality makeup cruelty free with worldwide shipping I don't know where they ship from um, but anyways it seems like a very interesting brand uh, I think it's really cool they're collabing with Hannah and I'm just really excited to see <laughs> what the release will be and just hopefully in the future try this brand and if you guys have tried anything from them and recommend anything I'd love to know but um, the the sneak peek or the the final reveal of Hannah's collab with them will be releasing soon so I'm really excited to see what everything actually looks like and um you know see if that'll be something i do end up purchasing or not but anyways uh yeah i just had to 
come in here and edit that in because I can't believe I forgot <laughs> to talk about this brand. And then lastly for the fifth product, and these were in no particular order by the way, I just save them and that's it. Um, but this one I've talked about on my channel before in a previous makeup I want but probably won't buy video as well. And this is the brown, brown. <laughs> This is the brand Shroud Cosmetics, uh, formerly known as Strobe Cosmetics, I think. Um, and yeah, I think for the longest time when they were kind of more Strobe Cosmetics, they didn't really intrigue me a ton. I don't really know why. They just didn't really catch my eye a ton. Um, even though I do feel like I've heard a lot of good things about this brand as well. Um, I didn't know really much about this brand, but as when once they um, did their name change, that's when I kind of learned a little bit more about the brand, and I became a lot more interested. Like I didn't realize the brand owner was um, female and also so very young. So I just like I find that so inspiring. I think that's really cool. Um, and she, I think she shared a little bit, if I'm remembering correctly, about like. Um, starting strobe and then why she was doing the name change and things like that and anyways I just thought when I watched that I was like wow that's really cool I really would love to try this brand support this brand and then anyways with their name change they came out with the Arcana palette and I still I still want that palette I talked about that palette in a makeup I want but probably won't buy and I think I mentioned that I might that I probably would end up purchasing it but I don't know I just I don't know I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it, but I still look at it and I'm like, I still want this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Like the mattes look creamy and rich and just so, so beautiful. Um, and then the metallic shades are just magical looking. Like they, it's just so, so beautiful. So I still want that palette. And then more recently they came out with this um, Moonfall, yeah, Moonfall Trio. And it's just like a trio of three metallic shades that look absolutely magical. Like they're just so intense, so insanely beautiful. I want I really do I want them they, they look beautiful I just this yeah I just I'm really would love to try this brand I'm hoping I kind of feel like maybe this might be the brand I purchased from first because I just can't get my mind off the Arcana palette as well as that that uh, Moonfall bundle and the bundle it looks like it's just $15 that's really not bad if you're getting the bundle so it's $6 each if you're buying the shadows individually or 15 for the bundle that's not bad oh yeah I mm. they're pretty much like uh, I think kind of tops on my list but you guys definitely let me know what you guys would like to see me try out a review what would you recommend um, let me know what you're most interested in seeing and things like that but yeah that's it for the uh, five indie brands that I am hoping, planning to try within this year. So I hope you guys found that interesting. And if anything, I hope that maybe you discovered a couple new indie brands that you haven't heard of before. I definitely encourage you guys to go check them out, show them some support, even if that support isn't buying from them, but even just following them on Instagram, showing their posts some love, some, some love and things like that, that's always helpful. So anyways, with all that being said, I just wanna thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah.